This week, find out how to color the line on your hodograph based on a variable. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hi, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, we're going to look at how to color the line on our hodograph based on another variable. It could be wind speed or it could be any other variable that was measured along with the wind profile. So it could be temperature or anything else from the sounding. We're going to start with the code that we left off with last week. So if you haven't watched part one of this series, you might want to go back and do that now. As a quick reminder, we've made a new figure and then we've added an axis. We've created an instance of hodograph here, so we tell it that we want to plot on axis AX, and that our component range is going to be 60, so that sets our bounds here. And then we just call h.plot with the u and v wind, and in this case I passed a line width of 5, so that the line was a little larger. Then we added a grid with an increment of every 20 knots in this case. If we want to change that line to be colored by wind speed, it's actually a really fast change. We just change plot to plot underscore color mapped. And if I do shift tab to look at the doc string for this, you can see that it takes u, v, and then the variable that we want to color on and some other optional arguments that we'll look at in another MetPy Monday. So u, v, and then we need to add wind speed. But before we run this cell, I have not pulled wind speed out of the data frame when we retrieved the sounding data yet. We didn't need it last week. So up here we're going to say wind speed is df speed dot values and then attach the units. Okay, so now if we run our plot cell again, you see that we have a line that is going from cooler colors up to warmer colors. We know that the winds in this case are increasing with height. Now, this is not the best use of the color range for sure, and it may not be the color map that you want. It's using the matplotlib default color map, which is Virtus. In fact, if we go to the matplotlib color map page, we can scroll through and look at the different color maps that are available. So here's what we're using now. You see we're not using any of this upper part of the range right now, but there are many available color maps. So now back in our notebook, I'm going to choose to use a color map that's called hot because I think that'll give us a pretty nice visual here on the wind speed. So now in our cell, after line width, I'm going to add another argument just like you would to any matplotlib command, just keyword argument, cmap equals plot.get cmap, and then the name is hot. Now running that cell again, you see that we're going from cool to warm colors. If you wanted to reverse a color map, say one went from colors that you would consider warm to cool and that's not what you wanted, you can always append an underscore r and reverse that color map. So now this first segment of the line is actually white, so it doesn't show up here. It's not exactly what we want. But we can do a little bit more here. We can go ahead and better utilize the range of that color map. So I'm going to line wrap so this line doesn't get too long here. And then we're going to set the norm, which we've seen before. So the norm, we're going to normalize between a certain range, a minimum and a maximum value. You might be familiar with this as vmin and vmax. Now to do this, I'm going to go ahead and import a slightly different namespace here. So import matplotlib.colors as colors. And then our norm is going to be colors.normalize v min, let's say is 20 knots, v max is 50. 
And now if we run, we see we have a different color range displayed here. We could really turn it down. You only have a 10 knot range. Everything out of range is going to get clipped to the uppermost color, in this case white, so we can't see it very well. We could say 80. Now we're not using very much of the range. Or if we went to the extreme and said 800, now everything is black because all of these values are way at the bottom of the color mapped range. So this is a nice way to allow you to quickly adjust things. You could also use NAN min, which is gonna find the minimum in the array and ignore any NANs. So you could find NAND min of wind speed and NAN max of wind speed. And we're going to need to import NumPy as well. That's not in our imports right now. So import NumPy as MP. And now we see pretty much the, the color scheme that we had to start with. I hope that you found these tips useful. Always remember that if you have problems using MetPy, you can get a hold of us either by filing an issue on the MetPy GitHub page, by sending an email to support, or now you can get support by going on to Stack Overflow and asking a question. We have a MetPy specific tag. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.